Here is my impression of Nicholas Holt from Mad Max Fury Road. What a day! Oh, what a lovely day! That was the worst impression I've ever done in my entire life. Mad Max Fury Road. Directed by George Miller, Mad Max Fury Road is the newest and most praised action movie we've seen in a while. We follow the story of Imperator Fur Furiosa, being played by Charlize Theron, and Max being played by Tom Hardy. Their mission is very simple, just to get from point A to point B. Now I wasn't excited at all to see this movie, I just thought it looked really dumb and just a completely mindless action film, but then after the rave reviews it got, not only on YouTube, but from Rotten Tomatoes, I mean it had 98%, I decided, you know, let's actually check this one out. And how was it? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, I am able to say without a doubt that this is the best film I have seen so far this year. The only thing that prevents Mad Max Fury Road for, from getting an A+, is that there's this little girl in the beginning and the middle, this isn't a spoiler by the way, uh, that is kind of like in Max's head, and it's never explained in the movie, and I was kind of just like... Uh, okay then, but besides that, this movie is, it's amazing. Now let's get into why. First of all, the performances by everyone are excellent in this movie. Tom Hardy serves as a perfect sub -in for Mel Gibson as Mad Max. Every scene he's in, you can see how crazy he really is, but also with that, you can like empathize with his character, not sympathize, empathize with the character, and you really care about it. Charlize Theron was also amazing in this movie. She takes charge and makes this movie her own. She's by far the best performance because of how blended, how she blended sane and crazy together perfectly. And Nicholas Holt was also really good in the movie. Despite my impression of him, if you haven't seen the movie yet, he was so insanely insane and he did a phenomenal job of portraying this dystopian type of character. And while there isn't much dialogue in the movie, the writing is really, really solid here. I mean, whenever Charlie Theron is speaking, she has this presence on screen and just this tone that it's it immerses you in the conversation and you're like, but your eyes are attached to the screen. They never leave. But the real man we all have to owe it to is George Miller himself. This guy made this movie look amazing. He, he, he made it look beautiful and dystopian. I don't know how you do that. Every shot in this movie looks tremendous and is jaw-dropping. Also, the lighting is pretty phenomenal in this movie. There are some night sequences that we get, and they like have this tint to them. Job well done. For a 70-year-old George Miller, you still got it. In closing... Mad Max Fury Road is a nearly perfect action film. My final grade is a 5 out of 5 stars for Mad Max Fury Road. Thank you guys so much for watching. All my links will be in the description as always. And until my next review, I'm Ryan Mr. 411. I will see you all day later. I was going to say have a lovely day, but whatever.